Well, hello artists, welcome to the Impossible Kingdom. Let's get started on another mythical creature, piece of art, with these cards to get us going. Small animal is a platypus. So he has a bill and fur and he's real flat. And we're gonna put the cards up here on the side so you can follow along. Let's see, medium subject. We're gonna go with rattlesnake, that sounds fun. So rattlesnake platypus. Getting weird, let's see. This large subject, top, second, third, who knows, bottom. Zebra, all right. So we have a zebra rattlesnake platypus. The detail, detail can throw our drawing any way. We don't know which way. Feathers and wings, that sounds cool. You can mix and match to your own ability. You don't have to draw all these cards together. If you want an extra challenge of a habitat, the surroundings, the world it lives in, outer space. It's just a matter of getting your imagination going and started and drawing whatever you feel like drawing. Mix and match any of these cards. You can draw a platypus in outer space. You can draw a rattlesnake platypus. You can draw... Today I'm gonna to be using the uh, my watercolor crayons and uh, so I'm gonna start with a sketch just graphite I'm gonna follow up with that this is all on some heavy-duty watercolor paper you can hear you can hear how thick it is and um, you know you can use anything that you have around your home you can use just regular pencil. I'll do, there's videos out there of just color pencil, black and white, just shading. If you don't have these special colors, if you wanna use color pencil, if you wanna use acrylic paints, oil paints, anything you might have, anything is acceptable because you're just drawing for you. So have fun, here we go. So when I started drawing, I knew that I wanted the bill of the platypus the fur of the mohawk and the patterning of the zebra fangs from the rattlesnake and I wanted one of the wings to be twisted up like a rattlesnake kind of coils up front horse teeth I thought would be funny and then uh, I just wanted it to look weird my acrylic ink that I use is really good and robust for water so it doesn't bleed out and then the patterning from the zebra I wanted to put kind of everywhere and left the white spaces to take color you can see it's real time there applying stripes of the zebra so it's kind of a slow process but it's worth it because you get some cool cool effects and it leaves enough white space to actually add the color over top of it whoops this one was just a lot of fun with the color I know I want it to be green kind of like a snake even though rattlesnakes aren't green I wanted the patterning and stuff to really stand out. So you can see the zebra mohawk, I left enough white space to kind of take colors and I picked contrasting colors. So I got yellowish against purples and the greens also play well with the red eyes, play off each other and make the, make the image pop. Always clean your brushes out with these water brushes. You can actually just squeeze the water and wipe it on a towel and it cleans off in about five seconds. Overall, I thought it was funny because, you know, a duck bill with fangs and horse teeth kind of tied the whole room together. Well, this one turned out really fun, really colorful. I like it a lot. Rattlesnake zebra platypus with weird wings that just kind of go whichever way they want. I'll see you next time. Have fun.